Welcome to another episode of the Royal Family of Windenburg. In this episode, it is Prince Henry's birthday, and it is also Princess Alice's birthday as well. So we're going to do a joint birthday party with them, and they're going to turn into teenagers, so that'd be really exciting. I think we're actually going to have the birthday party at the Palace of Willow Creek, just to give you guys a little bit of a change of scenery, because we're always in our castle. So yeah, I think that's definitely a good idea. So we're going to go ahead and plan the birthday party. So we're going to have Queen Isabel plan it. I think she knows all of their friends pretty much. And then, let's see, we have... Okay, we're going to plan a social event, and she should know all of the kids to invite them, but we're also going to invite some adults as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so we want to do a birthday party, and we're going to have the hosts, I guess the host could be, oh no, never mind, there's no host. It's a birthday sim. So... Technically, it's also Princess Alice's birthday, but since she's not in the family, I'll just have her blow out the candles when we get to that part. So we'll say it's Prince Henry's birthday, and then we want our family to be there. We want the cousins. I'm going to make the priority be the kids. Obviously, Princess Alice. And is that it? Is that all the kids she knows? I think so. So then we want Queen Arya to be there. King Derek, Queen Elena, since it's going to be at their place anyway. What? The, the King of Oasis Springs never shows up on here, so I guess they don't really know him well enough. Okay, let's see. Who else do we want to invite? I know Lady Lindsay's a teenager. She was in their kids club group sort of thing. So we'll invite her, and then I want to... I think Baroness Mira is their aunt is the kid's aunt. Oh no, actually, you know what? I think Eliza is their aunt. I'll invite them anyway. And then we can also, we have a little bit more room. We'll invite the Duchess. I don't know how many we have. This is good. I feel like that's enough. And then the caterer, we're going to hire a caterer, even though I already pre-made the cake because I always have an issue with not making the cake in time to blow out the candles. So we'll hire a mixologist because I'm pretty sure they have a bar. So there'll be someone there for the adults. And then we want an entertainer too. And then we are going to have this at the Royal Family, the Royal Family Willow, the Royal Family of Willow Creek's Palace. So we're going to go there. So here we are at our birthday party and, oh, it looks like the queen is freaking out. But look at her dress. It's so beautiful. Oh, she has to get in from the rain because it's going to get ruined in the rain. Oh my gosh, okay. So yeah, man, the rain really puts a downer on everything. Everyone starts to freak out and get so tense when it rains. It's ridiculous. They need to calm down. So yeah, look, everyone is like very tense. Crying from toddler. There's a to oh, right, oh! Okay, so we haven't met Princess Alice's brother yet. The prince, he is here and he is, I don't know. He's, I think I saw him outside actually, but we'll go see him later. So I'm actually going to get the first thing out of the way, which is the blowing out the candles. Yes, we have a cake. So we're going to do that first, just to get it over with. And then we'll have a successful party and we can focus on the other activities. I'm really excited for the fact that Princess Alice and Prince Henry are going to be teenagers because then they can actually start forming a romantic relationship. So, oh no, the cake's bad. Why does this happen to me all the time? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well then I guess first things first is we need to make a cake. So I know we have a caterer, but I'm just scared they're not going to get it done in time. So to cut time, I'm going to have the king teleport to the kitchen and then he's going to have to make this cake and then I need someone to clean the cake up. So we'll have the queen do that. I apologize, my game is being very slow and laggy for some reason, so in case you're wondering what's wrong with it, that is why. Uh, can I actually just drag the cake to the trash can? I can! There we go. Okay, so that's done. So we need the king to start baking a cake. Can you do that? Okay, so cook we... Let's see, what kind of cake should we make? We can make, let's do a chocolate. Oh, well, do we have that? 
no. I know there's like a blue and pink cake sometimes, so I don't see that option. But we're going to do a chocolate cake for the kids because kids tend to like chocolate a lot. So while they're doing that, we need to tell jokes, have Sims become playful, and make drinks. I also need to start forming more relationships. And everybody needs to get out of the freaking rain. Why are they? Oh, gosh, it's lightning really badly. Okay. So what can the kids uh, watch a movie? That doesn't sound like a lot of fun for the kids. Um... Okay. Oh, there's Princess Alice. Okay. We're going to have Prince Henry talk to Princess Alice. I'm going to monkey around with her. And then we need everyone else to come inside. So we need our princesses to just at least just get them inside first. That is what is important because they're getting rained on and their really adorable party dresses are getting ruined. Ooh, we also have a game going on here. I can have the princesses join this game. Oh, I guess we can only have one join it. Oh, no, Prince Alice is going to take that spot. <gasps> she took it. Oh, man. Okay. Well, what if I... Can I call her over? Or does she have to be done with the game? She's too far. Okay. There's about candy. I'll just have the princesses. They can watch. So they'll watch the game, and they can wait their turn patiently. And let's see how our cake is coming along. It looks like the caterer is making another cake. I'm assuming that's the ingredients for another cake. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have two cakes, which is fine. Now I know that I can't keep it in the inventory, though. I don't even think it was there for that long. I think it was there for like a day or something. Ooh, she just dropped glass. Uh, but I know now to keep it in the fridge. And when it's time, I will put the cake in our inventory. So now I know. I'm just learning as I go along. I feel like everything happens, though. Okay, our cake is finally done. So I just need him to put down the cake so I can drag it to the table. And then we will have Prince Henry blow out the candles first, followed by Princess Alice. So King George, you really need to put down that cake because you're literally just standing right there. Come on. Put the cake down. Um... I think I want it... Where's the table? There's a dining room table, I think. Okay, he's putting it down. Okay. All right, so we put it on the counter, but I want it here on the table. So I'm going to drag it here. Put it right there. And then I'll put the candles on for Prince Henry. I'm going to add birthday candles. And then... I really hope their outfits don't end up being something ridiculous. Otherwise, I'm going to have to change it right away because it's going to bug me. But, you know, sometimes The Sims, like, just generates these ridiculous outfits and hats and these weird sunglasses. And it's just the weirdest combination. Okay, so we're going to have Prince Henry blow out the candles. And I'm going to try to get it to where I can add the candles again before everyone starts taking a piece of the cake so we can just reuse the cake. But I also know that the chef in the background, it looks like she also just made a cake. Um, what's Prince Henry doing? No, don't chat with her right now. You need to blow out the candles. It's good that he wants to talk to her, though. Yeah, their friendship level is, like, really good. So that's good. I think I'm going to definitely try to see if he can start flirting with her a little bit when they're teenagers. And so hopefully by the next episode, they can go on their first date. So let's see. We'll have Prince Henry blow out the candles. There we go. And we're going to turn to a teenager. It's like waiting. It's, it's like suspenseful for him to turn into a teenager. Why isn't he turning? Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so we blow out the main, ca the, blow out the main candles. We finish our main goal to blow out the candles. Prince Henry aged up. It looks like he's already a perfectionist. So what other aspiration do I want him to be? Hmm. Oh, no. I can already see this ridiculous outfit he's wearing. Oh, God. I'm going to have to change it. I really am. It's going to bug me. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Creativity. Athletic. Hmm. Why don't we do... Ah, uh, I'm sorry. This is taking way too long. Um, I guess family? I don't know. I don't know what kind of person Prince Henry would be. I would like him to be a good king. His father's a pretty good king. And pretty family-oriented. Uh, to be a super parent, successful lineage, big happy family. 
He's only a teenager right now, though. I guess, uh, I don't know. Uh, or knowledge. Wants to know everything. Mm, I'm, you know what, I'm going to stick with the family thing. I'm going to do successful lineage. So he wants a family that's going to succeed in life. So he's already a perfectionist. He's now domestic. That comes, that's the trait that comes with his aspiration. So I'm also going to make him, um, let's see. I guess, would family oriented already come with this? No. Well, he definitely doesn't hate children. Uh, life. Okay. Uh, let's make him self-assured. Yeah, we'll do that. He's a very confident sim. He's confident he's going to be a good king, too, in the future. Okay, I'm going to wait to change his outfit. And then I'm going to have... Oh, no, no, don't take a base yet. Don't take a base yet. No. Oh, you know. Oh, okay. Well, oh, hey, this is Prince, Princess Alice's um, brother. I just saw him walking. There he is. So I'm going to introduce ourselves, Prince Edmund. That's a very proper name. Okay, we're going to do a friendly introduction, and then I'll have the girls also try to give it... Oh, I think that was just Prince Henry again. Well, okay, I'll do that later, if anything. So I saw a... Oh, I thought I saw a cake. Did she put it in the... Oh, that's the cake. Okay. So we're going to add birthday candles. It looks like Princess Alice's cake is sugar-free carob coconut cake very interesting so the mm, i want queen isabel to put on the candles she's very depressed because the i think it was the baroness of oasis springs just died so she got someone called her and was like hey the baroness died just thought you should know and she's been like super depressed ever since so looks like she's too depressed to put candles on so i guess i'll have the king do that or Maybe I'll just have the prince do that. Okay. So it looks like the prince was already helping himself to cake. But we're going to add the birthday candles. He can wait to eat cake until Princess Alice blows out the candles. And we're running a little bit low on time, which is fine because we already did the main goal. And we're at Princess Alice's house anyway. So if I miss it, I can just make her do it when the party's over. But we'll see how this works. All right. Are you going to hurry up or no? Do I have to reset you again? Again, I apologize that my game is being so slow today. I don't know what's up. I feel like when it rains, it makes my game slower. Because I did the weather machine to clear up the weather earlier when I wasn't recording this. And it, like, all of a sudden my game just became a lot more quicker. And I don't know. So maybe that's just a theory, but makes sense to me. Okay, so while we're waiting for him to put the candles on, I'll have Princess Cora introduce herself to Prince Edmund. We just want to get to know the family, especially if our prince is going to end up marrying Prince Alice, hopefully. So we want them to be close with the family and for them to know all the family members. So Prince Edmund is... Ooh, the toddler's angry. Yikes. Okay, so yeah, Prince Edmund is putting... Not Prince Edmund. Oh my gosh. Prince Henry is putting the candles on the cake, or at least he's supposed to. What are you doing? That was a lot of lightning out there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there you go, finally. And then we're going to age up. It looks like it's in a weird spot. Um, no, it looks like we can age up soon. Okay, so Princess Alice will age her up. Hopefully she can get to the cake. I know if the cake's not in a, the right spot, it, you're not allowed to do certain interactions with it. So hopefully that's not the case. But we'll see if Princess Alice can blow out the candles. And then, let's see, how are we doing with meeting the toddler? Did you even introduce yourself to him? Ooh, I need the king and queen to introduce themselves too. It looks like the girls did. Okay, yeah, our princesses introduced themselves to the prince. Ooh, and then Princess Alice is aging up over here. So, let's see. I hope her outfit looks okay. I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of editing with The Sims. So, we'll see how this goes. So, can she even get to it? 
Yes, she can. Okay. There we go. She just blew out the candles. And she grew into a teenager. That's an interesting outfit, I guess. Um, so we have now our two teenagers. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to have to change that outfit. Especially with the boots. Look at that. The boots just make that outfit. That is definitely not something a princess would wear. The queen is looking at her like, oh my gosh, my son cannot marry this girl. Look at her face. She's like pouting. It's hilarious. Okay, so we are almost done with the party. And it looks like, did our mixologist even show up? We do. We do have a mixologist. So I wonder if we can get some drinks really quick. I'm just going to try to, let's see, order a drink. Order a favorite drink. I'm just going to try to get our whatchamajigger up to make it a successful party. And plus, I think Queen Isabel needs a drink anyway because she's just super depressed. So have them order their favorite drink. The toddler is so angry. Prince Edmund is like very angry. Okay, and then why don't we try to edit them to... I'll just wait till the party's over. The party's almost over, so that's fine. And then I'll have him also order a drink. We'll order favorite drink, even though he just turned into a teenager and he probably doesn't know what his favorite drink is if it's alcoholic. So we'll see. Okay, and then are the kids still here? Because I want the princesses to interact with the... That's her cousin. She doesn't need to interact with them anymore. We did have... Oh, yeah. Like, okay, so here's Sir, I think, Walter. Yes. So I don't know which noble family he belongs to in Oasis Springs, but that's fine. I know there's him and Sir Derek who are possibilities of future husbands, I guess, for Princess Cora and honestly for Princess um, Anna too because they're from different families, so it's not like they're marrying brothers, so that's fine. So we'll just have them get to know them just a little bit more. And she can talk while she's eating her cake. She'll enthuse about her meal. And then I'm also going to have Princess Anna talk to him too. And we'll just kind of see who gets along with who better. And then, have you ordered your drink yet? It doesn't look like, oh, we're supposed to make the drinks. Uh, well, at least I can tell a joke now. I could do that at least. So why don't we do something funny? Uh, tell a funny story. I don't want the prince to tell a joke about toilets. That's just strange to me. And now that both Princess Alice and Prince Henry are out of the kids club, we can actually add more people to the kids club. So let's see who else is there. Um, I'll do Lady Olivia and Sir Adrian. I want to keep it kind of in the noble family just because it's our princess and prince and the royal families and it's who they're interacting with. So it just makes more sense that it would be noble family children that they were are interacting with. So I'll add them. And this way they can kind of get to know some of the other kids. I'm, I'm Honestly, Sir Adrian could be a possible future husband for one of the girls too. So we'll see. I'll see who I like better. We got to see their personalities because sometimes they're super weird and you're like, oh, so... Um, Oh, so Sir Derek is actually from Windenburg. I didn't realize that. He's their neighbor. And then Sir Adrian is... Oh, well, okay. Never mind. That can't be one of the girl's future husbands because he's their cousin. So he's from Willow Creek. And then... Oh, sorry. He's from Oasis Springs. And then Sir Walter is from Oasis Springs. But he's not related to them. So he is the other possible future husband for them. Um... Okay, our thing has been going on for a while. I'm, can I just end it? Yeah, I'm going to end it. It's fine. So I'm going to end the video here, but in the next episode, it's going to be their first date, um, Princess Alice and Prince Henry. So we're going to try to get their romance up a little bit. I'm going to change their outfits off screen so we don't have to spend time on that. But yeah, we're going to have them be romantic and see if they can go on their first date. But thank you all again so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all the next episode.